Hi, this is Meghna. Come on in. I'm a software engineer by profession and a home decor stylist by passion. Let me show you around. The first pieces I want to talk about would be these modern art pieces. Both of them are from Chumbak. This is Namma Bengaluru, which symbolizes the love for our city. Me and my husband have been brought up in the city, so this had to be in on one of the walls. And I'm a plant lover. You can easily find up to 60 to 65 plants in all corners of the house. Uh, I've decorated in my way, in my personal touch. I want to talk about this bookshelf. Uh, this was gifted by my friend on my wedding day. It incorporates all the things which we love like this FCD shield which I gifted my husband for his like, love for the team and then I have added my personal Harry Potter collection which I love and also I want to take a moment and talk about the Amar Chitra collection I have which I brought from Comic Con because my love for mythology is endless. So I want to talk about this swing which I've added. Uh, I've actually added as many reading corners in my house as possible so that I would love reading. Uh, this is a thrift find from my husband's manager and I feel it makes a great addition to my living room. Behind the swing I've added this clock. It's a vintage find from Amazon and um, I love the vibe it gives. The living room came in an L-shaped structure, so I've divided it into two sections. One would be the dining section, the other would be the entertainment section. So for the entertainment section, I've added this teal blue couch uh, coupled with Indian prints. I would say my house is a mixed bag of themes. It has more of Indian decor coupled with modern art here and there. Uh, I got these cushions from a flea exhibition. Most of the purchases here in my house, I would say, are from flea markets and exhibi exhibitions because I love the vibe of them and it gives a personal touch to your place. I would take a moment and talk about the two paintings which I've added behind the couch. They're from an Indian artist called Jamini Roy. I purchased these paintings from Etsy and I framed them from like IKEA and I feel it gives a really good touch behind the couch. I would say the most important furniture in your house would be your coffee table. So the, all the conversations with your friends, the parties, the gup chips, everything happens in the living room. So I have decorated my coffee table in this manner. So this is a mango wood solid piece I got it from Pepper Fry and uh, I actually like the idea of having a enlarged and a huge table rather than a small compact table because you can keep all your stuffs, your glasses, your plates, everything on the table and it still has space to go with it. For the dining section, I wanted to add a small and compact table since as is a family of two. So I got this from Big Fit and I think it makes a great buy. On top of this, I've added this jardi which is 30 year old from my mother. She got it from her mother-in-law. I've styled it using my favorite flowers and I've added a fruit, like a fruit basket and a cookies jar just to couple the style. So behind the dining table, when it came to styling, I wanted it to be very simple because uh, I have added gallery wall in different places in my house. So I chose this Turkish plates from an Instagram store called Ritualistic.in. You have to check them out. They make great collection. And uh, on top of that, I also added a plant again and a tea jar from IKEA. If you ask me which is the corner which took longest time for you to style in this place, I would say this Indian gallery wall. When I started styling this, I went to Pinterest for recommendations. I found various examples for Scandinavian, modern and abstract art, but there were very little examples for modern art. So I started building my own. I started with these beautiful Patachitra paintings I found in play exhibition, Ganesha and Saraswati. 
and also I want to talk about this. This is a recent find on my trip to Assam. And I would talk about this figurine. This is the centerpiece of my gallery wall. It's one of my absolute favorites. I found this in Karnataka Chitakala Parishad. They have actually added a green fabric, which is the favorite color of the Gauri. Along with that, they've mounted this Gauri piece. I feel this gives a very good vibe to the wall. This is the guest bedroom. Uh, since I work in a hybrid fashion, I wanted to set up a workspace of my own. Since I'm a maximalist, I've added things which inspires me. So whenever I'm tired from work, I look at my, the quotes which I've added. One being this Make It Happen, uh, Make It Happen figurine from House of Akam. It's an absolute favorite. And I try adding as many Devi figures or Gauri figures in every room of mine because it gives a very positive energy to the place. I want to take a moment and talk about these quotes. So these quotes inspire me whenever I'm tired from work. And this is my favorite team which I've been supporting from 16 years. So this holds a special place in my heart. And the other thing which I absolutely love is plants. Like I mentioned, there are about hundreds in my house. So I've added plants and few of the Patachitra paintings which was gifted by my mother. Since this is a small room, I could just add one side table next to the bed. So I've styled it using the bags I use and also few plants which I love. Behind the side table, I've added these Indian prints. Again, I got them from Etsy and then framed them. Beside that, I want to take a moment and talk about that particular toy. Uh, since we are South Indians, we love incorporating stuff from Chanpatna since Chanpatna is very famous for toys. Also, uh, I love traditional fabrics for my bed sheets and Jaipur fabric being one of my favorites. This particular one is from an Instagram store called House of Gulab. They make great prints, you have to check them out. And I love layering my bed sheets with a lot of cushions and the cushions also I incorporate Indian fabrics and Ajrak is one of them. This is the master bedroom of our place and the most minimal space in our house because I wanted the decor to be very simple here since my husband claims it to be his den and he prefers it that way. I've just added my favorite traditional prints again on the bed here uh, coupled with the ajrak prints again. It, I've added a side table next to it. So on the side table I've kept the minimal decor with few candles and a journal next to it. I've added my husband's desk here. The workstation is very, very simple. Unlike me, he's a minimalist. He's just added his laptop and a monitor. But I wanted to give a little certain touch of decor to this. So I've added a vase and I've just propagated a plant here. This is the absolute favorite corner of my house. It's my balcony. So this house actually came with a closed balcony, but that didn't stop me from decorating it with the plants I love. And I have created a reading nook for myself since I love reading. I love spending time here on weekends by reading, propagating plants, pruning them, etc. Since this wall behind the uh, plants was blank, I started styling them using the traditional uh, figurines. I want to take a moment and talk about that Surya figurine. Uh, this I actually found in a small shop in Maleshwaram. Uh, if you actually observe it clearly, there's one part which is broken. So I asked the shopkeeper, he had actually discarded the piece away. I asked him if I could take it for free. I got it and then got it framed on the wall and I think it makes a central uh, piece of my gallery wall.
I believe home is not always about expensive art or furniture. It must consist of things which you love, which holds memory and resonates with you. Thanks for watching my imperfect home. For more such content, please subscribe to LBB's Homely Newsletter.